Morning guys. Good morning everyone from a very sunny Palma de Mallorca. Yeah, the, sun, the sea is glistening out here. We can see people beneath us kind of on the gangway getting buses to go into the centre, which is what we're going to do. Feeling a little bit ropey today, but hopefully it's nothing, a bit of sunshine and uh, some good food. What kill. We've got a couple of ham and cheese sandwiches here and we're just waiting on some coffees. Yes, yeah, so it's the Starbucks one at Cafe Promenade, so not the actual Starbucks stand that's not included, this is included, that's a confusing way to say it. So this is Dane's iced coffee, you see in the Starbucks cup, and I went for a caramel frappuccino. I had to think about that for a minute, a caramel frappuccino. That's the cathedral just in the distance and it seems like there's a market or something on underneath it. I'm thinking we're going to probably end up here. Okay, so we have arrived at Mallorca. We can see Symphony way off in the distance there. Next to another ship. Comments down below if you know what it is because we have no idea. Okay, so first thing I imagine we'll do is have a look at the cathedral up close and then we really have no idea. I think there was a market on as well we were saying. Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll have a little wander around that. Very hot sunny day, feels glorious. Not a cloud in the sky territory. Um, but yeah, we got a coach here. It was 10 euros each for the round trip. And we just need to make sure we get the last one back before 2.30 to get back on the ship. So here it is from the side, the Cathedral of Mallorca. It's very impressive from the side here. I guess we're going to see if we can get a little closer to it and find out if we can uh, find out what we can do from there. Just come across these fountains that are lined with trees on either side in one of the gardens here at Mallorca. And it's shaded, so. We live in the shade. It reminds me of the one in Salou. So I said Dane should run through it, if you've seen that video. <laughs> <laughs> not really, we're not really going to do that. No. Just leave it. <laughs> just I don't think it. people thought you. No. No. Just, just in case though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can do it. <laughs> this is surreal. It is a bit of from the distance, so I'm going to have to get out of the shape. It's quite impressive, this large building here. We've got Mallorca flags and the European flag as well. I think what we're finding is come with a plan, because we do not know what to do. No, we're looking at some yeah. other pretty buildings, but then, I don't know, maybe we'll go for a drink. Yes, if you do want to see anything in particular here, I'd plan it out because, yeah, we've not come with a plan and now we're endlessly wondering a little bit. So, yeah, cruise noobs! Also, the coaches from the port of Mallorca were cash only. We do believe you can get another local shuttle, but because we didn't know where that was, we just got the Royal Caribbean one. We did research this before we came and then every bit of knowledge went out the yeah. window. Honestly, it's like you research it and you're like, yeah, we know that now, that's great, and then it just goes, so. There's no hope. <laughs> just seeing this building here, looks pretty cool. Looks like a Gaudi. That's awesome, this guy's first is spooky. Ooh. Luckily for us, it does seem like Mallorca is one of those places where you can just get lost in all the winding streets. So, although we don't have a plan, I am nonetheless enjoying myself. And it's very high buildings here, so it's all very well shaded. And they've got Popeyes. It was a game changer, absolute game changer. So we've just happened to stumble across one of the main streets here in Mallorca. This is Paseg del Born. This, it reminds me of a little. A little Spanish Rambler. Yeah, a little Rambler. Yeah. And then fountain just at the other end as well. I'm just zoom cool. into that. It is pretty cool. The one in Barcelona and the one in Salou was currently turned off because of the drought. So I don't know if that means that it's okay again or if it's different because we're on an island. Yeah, maybe it's just a different, different part of the world. But I mean, I'm glad that the fountains are running. Yeah, it looks good. Always looks good. Yeah. Okay, so here's the cruise ship and this is the reveal as we walk under the shade. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Still not sunk in yet, I don't think. No, look at that. Absolutely insane. So we've just come back to our room after our little adventure into Mallorca, Palma de Mallorca. And we've come back to a towel animal from our lovely cabin attendant. I think it's an elephant. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. And I love it, I've never had one before. So we're gonna go get some food now and we're also gonna use our freestyle cups for the first time. Have to be back in our floating hotel. Love it. We are holstered and ready to go. Horror night style. Woohoo! So we've come into the Slurrian Bistro. I've basically got a roast dinner and it looks amazing. Dane's got a bit more. I've got a random assortment of stuff. Um, it opens at one, we got up here literally at one o'clock, so everything's really fresh. And the lady on the door, she gets you to wash your hands before you come in, which I like to see being in first. So 
we found the freestyle machine. Yes, so we have all these all over Orlando, and you also get it as part of the deluxe beverage package. The only difference is there's Dr. Pepper here instead of Pib. Okay, so we found a lovely place to just kick back and relax for a little while with our Coke Freestyle Machine drink and not entirely sure what we're going to do next but we're just relaxing for now. It's fall night! Yeah, so I'm wearing a suit for the first time in a million years and Laura's got on a beautiful blue and white my dress. My squishy dress, my sea, sea dress and I got a little sparkly headband on that makes me feel like an elf from one of the rings. I'm not sure dance suit more. Is it me? Looking Minnesota? good. Very smart, very smart. This is my dress. <laughs> We're in heels again, so we'll see how this goes. They feel more comfortable than the other ones, so <laughs> fingers crossed. No, you're looking great, baby. Thank you, you look amazing. So we feel posh, we feel good, and then we are going to go for a trivia quiz before our meal in the main dining room, and then watching hairspray, so it's like proper dinner and a show time. So we are in On Air and we're just setting up for the trivia quiz now which is Name That Tune. This is our little trivia sheet. Dane's gone for a Casamel sun yeah. Sunrise. Sunrise, it was one. And I've got my Sangri that I did the day. We do quizzes a lot at home, me and Dane. We're like quizzing all the time. We love a good we love a good quiz, especially this sort of thing. So we're gonna see how well we do. If we come last now, be a bit good. But hopefully all our training this year in the last couple of years will stand us in good stead. So, not to give the answer away to anyone around us, but they just accidentally played, of all movie tunes, Titanic. <laughs> it's just like... Could you not? Yeah, yeah, a bit of foreshadowing there, guys, eh? Yeah, um... Thankfully it's 27 degrees, so we're okay. <laughs> So we've come into Bolero's. We've just been having some professional photos done. So they did some of them where we were together, a couple photos telling us how to act, and then they did some where it's just us on our own. I'm a bit awkward when I, other people take my photographs, so if I like any, I'll put some in the video. If I don't, then they'll never see the light of day, and we won't buy them either. <laughs> so we've now got our drinks. I've got Hurricane, Dane's got a fancy rum. Some rum. I chose it on the basis that it was the closest in price to our cap on the spend with ah, the drinks package. So I think that's the best way to do how, it. How else are you going to pick, you know, not based on taste or flavour or the most expensive thing, basically? Yeah, I, I'd do the same, to be honest. So we're going to drink these and then we're going to head up to the main dining room for our French night dining. It'll be interesting. Will Dane get snails? Find out here. So we're in the main dining room. It is a taste of France night. We're just having a look. I've already said that they might go for the snails, and I think he actually might. I think I'm going to go for the French onion soup, which is pretty extravagant for me. I don't normally get the vegetable-y options. But we're here on formal night, and I think people are making an effort. Like, I've heard a lot of things online about people just being around in t-shirts and shorts, but I think it looks good. Yeah, literally the... Uh... The chef's recommendations is escargot to start, beef tenderloin for main and creme brulee for dessert, I think. I'm just going to go for that. I chickened out in Epcot getting escargot, so today is the day. Today is the day. We're getting two Malbecs again. The other choices that we've got, so like French onion soup, there's the escargot, there's buttermilk calamari. A few different options here. Feel free to pause it if you want a bit of a more detailed look. Hey, that's professional that is. <laughs> Feel free to pause the video. I think I might go for the chicken cardon bleu. Or maybe the beef and guineas. Oh wait no, it's got mushrooms in it, not that. And then maybe that warm apple cobbler because the thing I had yesterday was really good. But our starters have just arrived. This is my baked French onion soup which looks very tasty. And this is Dane's escargot. Yeah, you ready? I'm nervous. <laughs> Just in case you don't know, I didn't until very recently. This guy goes baked snails. The big moment is here. Ah, there's one. Go to zoom in on the snail. So this is a snail which has been baked. Yes. Oh, you like it? Yeah. Don't ask. 
ask me if I want to try one because I can't get past. I can't get past it. I can't get past it. What it is? Oh, I'm glad you like it, but I'm not the brave enough yet. The sauce is winning. Don't get me wrong, but it's really nice. I'm glad you like it. And this is my first try ever of French onion soup. Not quite as adventurous as snails, but if you know me, it's just more adventurous than I'd normally go. This is all cheese and stuff on top as well. Very nice, yeah. Nice rich flavours. Almost like a gravy type soup, so I think I won't have too much issues eating this. So the second course is here. I've gone for the beef tenderloin with mashed potatoes and asparagus with a, a forgotten sauce. <laughs> and then this is Laura's uh, chicken cordon bleu with uh, broccoli, carrots, mashed potato and whatever else comes with chicken cordon bleu. Yeah. We're good at this. We, we, we know our French food, don't we? So much. Yeah. Here's, we've got creme brulee here. Laura's got the same thing. Um, Do the Let's see. Never actually done this before, so bear with me. Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Cool. So with the spot of this other thing on the uh, starboard side on floor eight, we always said it looks like Gimli's beard. <laughs> Apparently it's a shoplifter. Yeah, synthetic hair on a panel. What's it made from? Shoplifter's signature artworking techniques. Yeah, what did you think of uh, what did you think of all of that? I loved it tonight. So it was really good in the main dining room. The queue for the um, without a reservation was huge. Yeah. So I think we were right to make a reservation today, especially because we've got hairspray at ten thirty as well. The show hairspray. So I don't know if we would have got in in time, with enough time to enjoy the meal and then go to the show. So yeah, I'm glad that we reserved. I love the food. Really, really like my chicken. Love the starter. Um, I really enjoyed my creme brulee as well. Yeah, yeah I loved it all. I loved it all. Uh, we're going to go with vintages now. Um, oh, Central Park, right in front of us. Nice. So we'll yeah, we'll let you know what it's like. There it is. I'm expecting to be uh, blown away by this. in vintages, really liking how it looks. We've found these comfy seats, so we are now sat here, and we've gone for a Pinot Noir for Dane, and I have got a rosé today. Yeah. Yeah, looking forward to it. I'm just so stuffed from the meal, so just need something light and crisp. We have just got our seats for the show of Hairspray. Very excited for the show. It's already pretty packed, and I mean, there's still quite a lot of time before it starts, but we've managed to get Central seat, so we're happy. Yeah, just be aware there's going to be like two people sat down who tell you there's eight or ten either side of them yeah. for a big family. Yeah, we, we had like, 20 people apparently. Yeah, because, it's not tick, because it's not like you don't get a ticket, you just turn up. People will just sit down and go, there's five people here. Mm -hmm. Kind of, what are you going to say? Yeah. Well, we've ended up with a pretty good view, so thankfully it's all worked out okay. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some clips of the show.
Shrewsbury, we've just headed up to the Schoonabar, Schoonabar, one of the two pronunciations. And I've just seen this seat which is shaped like a boat and I really want to sit there, but I'm not sure if it's actually included. Looks like there's some live entertainment on again tonight, so that's good. We have located some very nice chairs. Such a fun time watching Hairspray. We didn't really say much about that, but I did put some clips in earlier because I managed to get some pretty good clips. We're in a good seat. Amazing Broadway at sea. It was a really, Mad. it was a really good show. I'm all, didn't think they could do a show like that, like in the middle of the ocean or the sea. Um, and then we got a couple of uh, drinks at Shooter Bar. It was a really good kind of uh, pianist and singer, kind of singing a bit of Rob Williams and Queen. It was very good. Um, another top day. Yeah, it was brilliant. So, formal night was a success. I really enjoyed it. Yes, I would say so too. Uh, if you liked the video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. And just tune in, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.